Mr. Chairman and member, Ranking Member Doggett and members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to talk about fighting errors and fraud in the programs Americans depend on. I want to begin by noting that the Social Security Administration has very effective tools to prevent fraud and errors, and these tools have been proven to work. What SSA does not have are the resources to fully deploy those tools to fight fraud and errors. Today, as I talk about my legislation, the Social Security Fraud and Errors Prevention Act of 2015, uh, I also want to make sure to discuss how budget decisions Congress makes impact the SSA's ability, the administration's ability, to use the effective tools it has, to de has developed for this purpose of fighting fraud and errors. Since 2010, Social Security Administration's local offices, the front lines against fraud and error, have lost more than 5,000 skilled employees to budget cuts, and dozens of local offices have closed their doors. And to the point of this hearing, as a result of budget cuts, the Social Security Administration has fewer fraud investigators on the beat now than it had five years ago. In each of the past five years, Social Security Administration received an average of a billion dollars less than it needed to manage Social Security and Supplemental Security Income programs. I said a billion, not a million. Social Security Administration's budget is lower now than it was in 2010, even though it is providing services to more than 7.5 million additional Americans today than in 2010. In two of the last four years, this Congress has failed to allocate funding provided by the Budget Control Act for Social Security and SSI eligibility reviews, which have been demonstrated to save uh, as much as $13 for every dollar we invest in those reviews to fight fraud. Using the most conservative estimates of return on investment, American taxpayers have lost between $2 billion and $6 billion because of this failure to act. Budget cuts are also undermining the customer service that American workers pay for with their tax dollars. Americans are waiting more than two weeks just to schedule an appointment in a Social Security office. Callers to Social Security's 800 number wait an average of 22 minutes, and that's if they can get through it all. More than a third of the callers get a busy signal and give up before getting an operator. Processing time for applications for those who qualify on the basis of a disability are rising right now, over a million people are awaiting a hearing before an administrative law judge, and wait times are now in excess of 450 days. Time and again, the Social Security Administration has proven that it can fight effectively against fraud and errors if Congress just provides the resources. Recently, the Social Security Administration discovered sophisticated fraud conspiracies in New York and Puerto Rico. Thanks to the investigators, hundreds of arrests have been made, benefits have been terminated, and improperly paid benefits are being recovered. The Social Security Administration has developed tools to prevent payment errors, ranging from simple prepayment reviews to sophisticated computer modeling that identify patterns of fraud and error. On average, using these tools saves more than $10 for every dollar the Social Security Administration invests in them. Last year, about 1,300 people were convicted of Social Security fraud based on investigations conducted by the Social Security, uh, Social Security Administration's Inspector General. The Special Social Security uh, Administration fraud prosecutors secured nearly $9 million in restitution for the Social Security Trust Fund. Nearly a year and a half ago, several members introduced the Social Security Fraud and Error Prevention Act, H.R. 1419, in this Congress. Our bill provides a secure stream of dedicated resources to ensure that Social Security can use its most effective proven tools to root out fraud and prevent waste and errors. It also incorporates the recommendations made by the Social Security Administration's Inspector General. We would make sure that all that there are pre- and post-payment case reviews to make sure that only those who are supposed to receive benefits get them. We would ensure that SSA has enough resources to recover overpayments and collect the monetary penalties that are assessed for fraud. We would guarantee the fraud investigation budget of the Social Security Inspector General, and we would fund special prosecutors for Social Security in order to end the budget cuts that have let some criminals get away with fraud. Our bill would also expand Social Security's ability to detect and punish fraud by expanding elite fraud fighting units and increasing penalties against those who conspire to commit fraud, including those in a position of trust, such as doctors, who provide false evidence of disability. The Ways and Means Committee has yet to consider our bill or any other plan to support the Social Security Administration's efforts to reduce fraud and error. But we hope that we'll have an opportunity soon to hold that type of a hearing to move forward with the Social Security Administration. Working together, we can secure Social Security dollars for those who paid them and earned them. And Mr. Chairman, I think 
we all agree that we can move on this in a way that helps secure Social Security and all those services that we provide to people because they pay for them and earn them. I yield back.